Hi guys, I'm um, starting week three alone at my apartment or at school. Um, so clicking on Monday, April 13th. Today we just have two things again. So you're working on uh, the Quizlet and then drafting your life poem. So again, open Quizlet, um, do matching or something else. Specter, specimen, and then when you're done, close that link. And then drafting. So just like you started writing your poems uh, last Wednesday, we're going to keep going with that today and tomorrow. So open the Life Poem Google Doc that you created last Wednesday and keep working on drafting your poem. So uh, I have edited mine a little bit since I last showed you it. So what I've added so far, originally I just had this. So these were my feelings that I had in my brain dump uh, handout. These were the things I remember. And these were my imagery kinds of things started. So I just left these here and I'm kind of using them as I write. Uh, so I just have a stanza right now and a title. And again, all of this is subject to change. Um, so what I did to start with is COVID-19 quarantine, um, and that's an end rhyme. It counts. Um, so that's one of my six poetic devices. And then again, I just labeled it by putting it in the last line where it is and put uh, parentheses around it. How long until I can see my students again? How long until I can hug my mom again? How long until I can eat out again? Um, and again, that's one of the devices, repetition. So I kind of followed along with what I told you guys to do last week, just start thinking about organization, get one stanza down, maybe two poetic devices. Remember, it's got to be a page. Uh, some questions as far as drafting your poem, does the whole thing have to rhyme like this? Nope. Uh, it's free or blank verse. So whatever you write, like Again, 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 that's just repetition. Um, none of it has to rhyme. You're really just writing a poem however you want and including those six poetic devices. So things that I'm missing that I'm going to work on today are adding uh, four more poetic devices. And then I need to find a good, strong piece of imagery. So I'm just going to, this isn't a part of my poem right now. I'm going to keep working um, and kind of work these things into stanzas as I go. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, but I'm going to think about it. So again, um, make sure you have today and tomorrow. So today is today, day two of three of writing your poem. It needs to be one to two pages typed in stanza form. You must include six different poetic elements, and then you need to include a piece of strong imagery. And then here's that requirements and rubric that we've been looking at ha that has the notes and the examples. So just make sure you're using these resources as you're writing. Um, Let's see, that's it. So nothing to turn in today. Just those two things and that's it. Uh, gift. Hmm, I miss, my mom has chickens. And I haven't been home in a while now since I've been at home. So chickens, gif. Find some, let's think of chickens. That's so I hope you guys are doing okay and you're finding stuff to keep you entertained and happy. Um, yeah, miss you. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, or you'll see me tomorrow.